Hello guys, this is Juck97 here, back with another tutorial, and this time I'm covering a new mod called Mind Menu. Now with the recent banning of the Mumphrey's Macro mod, people have been looking for a new way to use chat macros, and this just might be the one. What this mod does is it gives you a radial menu with 10 buttons on, which you can apply certain buttons or, mac or chat macros to them. I'm going to get straight into it, and if we scroll down, you can see a download button right here for the most recent version. So we're going to click this one, and it takes you to a new page where it says your download will begin in 3 seconds. However, for some reason, the download does not in fact begin for more like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds. Not sure why, maybe it's because it's a bit bad. But now the countdown started, and the download will start. I'm going to go ahead and click keep because I know it's not dangerous and all we have to do is then go to percent app data percent in the search bar at Minecraft and then this mod I believe does need forge so make sure you have it installed there's a video as to how to install it right on your screen now so go ahead and click that if you have not got it installed already but now we're going to go into the mods folder bam bam open it up and we're going to drag the newly downloaded file into the mods folder now I already have it dragged in here but let's say drag it again I don't know it's not really that helpful so once you got it in there, so you need to do to install it, you're going to close this menu, close this right here, and we're going to open up Minecraft, bam. So now that's opening, just going to take a little bit of time, and once it's open, we're going to go ahead and click play, and it will begin to open up. Once Minecraft is open, all you have to do is go bam, make it massive, and then we're going to click onto mods, and then if you find my menu here, click config. Now. By default, these are all set to false, but I really recommend having them to true. It helps you a lot when using this mod. So, bam, 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 done, done. And now I'm going to take you into a single player world and show you a few of the features. So, by default, the button to open the menu is set to R. So, I click on R and it opens this up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete all these because I want to show you how to make them yourself. But basically, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can set chat macros to them, you can press key binds to them and make it super duper easy to do a lot of stuff in Minecraft. So I'm going to press R and you'll see there are 10 buttons. So I'm going to click one, let's click on this one right here, and you'll see this new screen. This is the title and the name that you'll see in the menu. So I'm going to make one for, let's say, for opening your inventory. So I'm going to type in inv there. And we're going to click on an icon to pick so that it's relative to the name. So we know what it is more easily. And then we're going to click on action. What we're going to do first is we're going to show you how to use the key binding button first. So once you click on this small tab, it's going to take up these two buttons. And all we need to do is click select key and it will take you to the controls menu. Any of the controls listed in here can be applied to this button. So let's say I wanted to open the inventory in this instance. Take Scroll down to here and just click this button here. Now see it says inventory because in, opening the inventory is now set to this button. So I click done twice. And now we'll have a new button here, it's a fancy little chest, and it says inv. So I'm going to click this and it will open my inventory, abracadabra. I don't know why you'd want to use it for your inventory, because it doesn't really seem that helpful in that scenario, but it's one of the things that you could do. Um, now we're going to use or create another button. So I'm going to click R again and pick another of these. I'm going to click on this one, and this time for the key binding button, I'm going to switch it up to toggle. And this is where I say you can use something like sprint. So what we're going to do is we're going to type sprint there so we know what it's for. And we're going to click a new icon. I'm not really sure what I could use for sprint. So I'm just going to click on minecart rail because that's what I want to do. So now let's click done. Bam. So you see I'm walking around normally now. But as I said it toggle, as soon as I click this button, it will act like I'm constantly holding down my shift or sprint button. So now that I move, any time that I move, it just starts sprinting me automatically. I get stuck on walls maybe, but you know, it's just acting like I'm holding down that button. But if I want to stop it and turn it off, just click it again and it's toggled it off. I'm no longer making the sprint particles, I'm no longer moving quickly, and it's all off. So now this time I'm going to make another button, and this time I'm going to show you how to make a new category. And what a category does is it basically integrates another menu inside this one you'll see what I mean in a minute you can kind of call it menuception if you will so we'll click on action and this little chest button here says category on it so if I click category then it says enter a category I'm just gonna go ahead and call it combat I don't know I'll do call the title combat and we'll pick a combat related item so I'm gonna pick a bow because why not I could use a sword but I'm not going to 
and we're going to click done easy peasy see now if i go into the menu you'll see the bow icons here combat is here so if i click on this it will open up a new menu as you can see i've already got something in there i'm going to go ahead and delete that because i want to show you how to make it myself so we are now going to add a new item into the combat menu so if i click on this bam we're going to pick gonna sh gonna show you how to throw regen parts so we're gonna call it regen click on this and type regen again and oh and find one of these icons action uh, I'm gonna show you how to use the use item action now so we'll click on this tab here and it says select a slot now this is one of the ways that this mod can crash your game if you click on any slot which does not have an item in it will crash your game this may have been patched by the time you're watching this video but as it's a new mod right now which has just recently been released there are still some bugs so make sure you don't click any of the empty slots and instead we'll click on one of these so now it says the item which is selected here so i'm going to click done and done and now every time that i click this button it's going to throw one of those items no matter where it is in your inventory it will throw one so you don't have to click or refill or restock from your inventory into your hotbar um, I don't see how that would be especially beneficial because you, have to, every, you can't move whilst having your menu open so you're going to get killed if you try and do that too often if it's in another menu especially but maybe if you're running around and you've got it right here and you can just click bam straight away and it'll throw apart can see why it's helpful if it's not in your hotbar. So I've just hopped onto controller, which is the server that I play on, and I'm going to show you one of the ways that we can use this macro, or we can create a chat macro which will be beneficial for us. So I'm going to open up the menu and I'm going to click on this button right here, and I'm going to show you how to make a TP accept command. So in the title, I'm going to call it a TP accept, so I know what it is. I'm going to click on an ender pearl because that's the most relevant to teleporting action it's already set to command so I'm going to type slash tp accept and this is the command that it will execute as soon as I press this button so click done done bam and now right here it says tp accept so I'm going to get someone to send me a tpa so I'm going to wait for one to appear there we go we got a tpa request sent to me so I'm going to click R Bam, and as you can see here, oh, TP accepted. So you can see that it did in fact run the command. Thanks, guys. All done. And as you can see, it's all working. Let's say you wanted to create a button which will enable you to type something instantly in chat. So let's say you're selling a diamond sword. So I'll type that in there as a title, that'll work, and we'll pick the diamond sword icon. Bam. And now action, command. So this doesn't have to be commands bit misleading you can just type in a random thing which will be typed into chat so I'm going to type selling diamond sword message me for info so I'll type that click done done now whenever I click this it will type that in the chat so as you can see I click that once bam straight away easy peasy lemon squeezy so that's pretty much it on this mod guys that's all the features that I think are in this mod at the moment I'm sure more will be added soon, but I really think it's a helpful mod and it will actually help you so much. But apart from that, that's it from me. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it helped you out. Go ahead and leave some feedback in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, do what you want. If you need any more help, just message me on the forums, in-game or on YouTube. But like I said, that's it from me, guys. I'll see you next time.